Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, I will show you how to use Excel VStack function. I will give you two examples. The first is to combine similar data from multiple sheets without update. And the second is to combine similar data from multiple sheets with automatic update. So without further ado, let's get started. Now in the first example, I have three sheets in this workbook. Each sheet contains data from a particular state of Australia. This is the first sheet. If I look at other sheets, they have same columns and same means same number of columns and same type of data. VStack is useful for this type of data where you have similar data and VStack function appends the data vertically. So it means you will use this function only when you want to append the data vertically. So what it means is that I want to put the sales data from my second sheet under this and the third under that. So this is called vertical stacking. If you want to stack horizontally, for example, this is your first sheet and you want to put the data from the second sheet here and data from the third sheet here, that will be called horizontal stacking. And there is a similar function H stack in Excel that can be used for horizontal stacking and I think showing vertical stack will give you enough idea to apply H stack function by yourself as an example or as a practice. Now let's see how to combine this data vertically. So I want to put the result on a new sheet. So I create a new sheet and place it at the end and rename this to something all states data or something like that. No, I don't want my header to occur more than once. So therefore the easiest way is to just copy this header with control C and place it here. And let me adjust these columns a little bit. And now we will only be combining the data under the header from each sheet into the final master sheet. Now one way is that you simply copy all these data from three sheets and place it here. That is also doable. But there is a better way of combining data by using VStack function. So I put my cursor in cell A2 and I start writing the formula VStack, start the parenthesis and then I click on the first sheet from where I want to start appending the data and I place my cursor in cell A2 of that sheet and I click Control Shift right arrow and Control Shift down arrow. This will select the array range containing the data and then I put a comma in formula bar and click on the second sheet, place my cursor at cell A2 Control Shift right arrow, Control Shift down arrow. It will include this array range into VStack function. Then I put a comma, click on the third sheet, place my cursor at A2, Control Shift right arrow, Control Shift down arrow. And now I close the parenthesis and press enter. Now data from all these three sheets has been appended vertically in this sheet. The only thing is that my first column should have a date format. So I have to change the format of this column. So in the home tab, I click on format, format cell, date, and then I choose the format and press OK. That's it. You use this method when you do not expect any change in the original data. Because if this data changes, the combined data will not change. Now in the next example, I will show you how to automatically update the combined data when, for example, you add a row to any of the original sheets. To do that, the only thing you need to do is convert this data range, all of this, into a table. And because Excel tables are expandable, therefore, if you add a new row, it will automatically be added to this sheet the combined sheet. And to do that, let's start a new sheet, place it at the end. And again, I copy this header, place it here and rename this to automatic update, something like that. And now I select all of my data, control shift right arrow, control shift down arrow, and I can include the header as well. And you will see why in a minute. I click on insert and table. So this will convert this data range into a table. And as you can see here that my table has headers. This is by default checked. So Excel knows that this table has a header. So I click OK. And now in the table design tab, this is the table name. So I can give it a easy name. For example, table New South Wales. Similarly, for the second state, I select this data range, click on insert table click OK and give it a name table 
VIC and by clicking on this little arrow you can see that these two tables are now there so you don't miss anything if you have too many sheets similarly for the third one I insert a table and give it a name and now we have these three tables and what I need to do is start my vstack function here is equal to vstack start parenthesis and I start typing the name of my table and I will see this table New South Wales here. I simply have to double click here and it will be added then comma then I start typing again and I will see this table this one double click comma again table and this time this one and I close the parenthesis and press enter and instantly I get all my data combined from multiple sheets into this single sheet. Now I can change the format, format, format cells, date and as you can see that it has only included the header once in the combined and if you want to add a serial number to this combined data for some reason then you do it after you combine because remember your vstack formula stays in the first cell so normally our serial number is the first column so we have to put this formula here therefore if you want a serial number with vstack then after combining you can add a new column and then you can add a serial number by using row function or any other function or you can simply click and drag if your data is not of too many rows and now let's say I add another entry in my Queensland sheet so let us add another entry here put a date of 23 of December 2019 put first second or something here I'm just adding an entry here so now if I go back to my combined sheet as you can see that this entry has automatically been added to the sheet in which I am combining the data so in order for this automatic update you simply need to use excel tables so that is it for today I hope you like this video if so please give it a thumbs up thanks for watching and see you next time